Steffi and welcome to another Planty video. Today we have a mystery unboxing. This is the box. I have no idea what's in here. So this was sent to me by the very lovely goose with a green thumb. My brain today, goodness me. Um, so full disclosure, this might not be as chatty as normal. Um, not feeling fantastic today. Um, don't worry, there was no interaction with the delivery guy. We have a gate that I can buzz him in, so he just sort of dropped it off and then I went and picked it up. So nobody was interacted with, but um, I'm very excited about this. I have no idea what is in this box, but sorry if I'm a bit more like, <laughs> and there's probably gonna be less talking and maybe a bit of coughing. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get into this. Um, oh, I genuinely haven't got a clue what's in here, which, if you have watched this channel for a while by now, you will know these are my favorite kind of unboxings. Um, how do I get into this box? Am I being really dumb? Okay. Also, we might have to play the game of I don't know what these things are, <laughs> which I can foresee happening. Did I open everything? Are we... How does this box open? <laughs> Uh, okay, there we go. I am an intelligent person who can work out how a box functions. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> there are paints. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so many parts in here. Okay. Oh, they're labelled. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to actually squeeze these out. So first we have this guy. So this is a Syngonium Pixie. Sorry if you can hear chatting next door. James is um, also sick and is gaming. Little Syngonium Pixie. What a cutie pie. Again, I'm, I don't know if the hand thing makes any difference. Oh, these are so cute. Look at these leaves. This one actually has really similar markings to the Ray Eye, just not velvety. <laughs> That's super cute. I really love Syngonium. They're such nice plants. Ah, uh, okay, here is a plant. I'm not gonna show you, well, maybe I'll show you what it is, but it's not, actually, no, I won't show you. This is not for me. This is for somebody who, um, yeah, I don't know if I should unbox it. It's a string of hearts. Um, she's been looking for it for a while and I happen to live down the road. So I'm going to keep this in quarantine with me until obviously I can go and drop it off. But maybe I should unbox it just so it's free. I think it's stuck on some of the tape. Oh, what a beautiful specimen. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure that it's okay and I can do a little bit of not being in a box. So a string of hearts for someone who's been looking for one for a long time. So this one's not for me, but it will make its way to a new home soon. What a pretty plant. Shame the weather's been awful. Um, so I think there might be a little bit of transit shock for some of these guys. Ooh. Okay, then I can see. Oh. <laughs> guys, there's a wishlist plant in here. <laughs> okay, let me see. So here we have, oh my goodness, a wee baby Hoya Crinkle 8. I love these guys. Oh my goodness. I've been looking for one of these for ages. Oh, it's so cute. And it's in its little speggy bags. Oh my goodness. Look, look how cute that is. Oh man. That's so exciting. Oh, this is such a nice little Hoya haul. Okay, here we have a Hoya Memoria. It's, oopsie. There we go. So you can kind of see, it looks, it's got very similar splashing on the leaves to this Hoya Publicalix that just happens to be here because I realized it didn't have a plant in shot. It's like the little mini baby version. Oh, so these are Hoya Memoria cuttings. 
man. <laughs> this is incredible. And then we have this absolutely beautiful Hoya David Kaminji eye. Again, I just, I never know if this makes any difference or not. These are so pretty. When these guys fill out, they're absolutely gorgeous. They've got such nice, um, like black margins on the leaves, which I wasn't expecting. How beautiful. I think I'm setting up a Hoya shelf. So I'm gonna be doing another video. I'm doing lots of um, more scientific videos coming up soon because that's more what I want the channel to be. Well, not what I want the channel to be about, but what I intended the channel to be about. Some more of those coming, um, but I have ordered a shelf for my pottery. So that's gonna go here. So I need to move these shelves and I'm gonna put those over on that wall. And I think I'm gonna make one of them a Hoya shelf. That could be fun. Oh, okay. There's some very exciting stuff in here. So this is a Hoya Comingiana. Look at this. What an absolute stunner of a plant. These tiny baby leaves are gorgeous. Oh man, so generous. Um, I'm leaving the wishlist one until last because I can see it and it's making me very excited. So then we have, my oh goodness, there's more in here. This is a, ooh, a Hoya diversifolia. Ooh, that's cool. Hoya are just awesome, guys. I'm definitely becoming a Hoya head. Ooh, what are you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so this is another wishless plant. This is a Hoya Australis Lisa. I didn't even see her. Look at this, look at her leaves. Sorry about the dogs. Oh my goodness. So I bought myself one of these a while ago and ooh, it, it was a cutting, a very little cutting and it came with mealybugs and it just, it was destroyed by the time it got here. So I was very sad about that because it was expensive. Oh my goodness. What gorgeous leaves. Oh. <laughs> okay, these last time I'm also very excited about. Shame this guy I think has had a little bit of um, <laughs> the label on this. So I'll show you what it is first. So it's a philodendron micans, but the label says philodendron the dream micans. <laughs> How are they even real? They're so velvety. Oh, shame. Yeah, we've had a little bit of um, cold stress because the weather has been nuts. But look at this. How stunning. Oh, what an absolutely gorgeous plant. I actually cannot wait to get this all rooty rooted up. I'm going to make him a pot. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to make all of these pots. I'm not going to buy pots anymore. I just make my own pots. <laughs> oh, man. So beautiful. I actually, I, like, I don't even know how to say thank you for these. These are just stunning. Thank you. And then the last one, which, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna sort of get it out of spag a little bit. I'm gonna try to do it secretly down here so you can't really see. Because I don't know how rooted he is, so I don't wanna um, disturb his life too much. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I have been looking for one of these for ages and I missed out on one um, just before lockdown started because I had a panic <laughs> as I do. Um, oh, holy smokes, look how black these leaves are. So, oh, again, I just don't know how this is gonna focus. I have a tripod now, so it's all very exciting. I feel very professional. You're no longer on a cat scratch post, which is what used to be happening. That is easy, Raven. I'm so excited. Oh man, I really hope I can get it to root properly. Look at it. <laughs> oh, okay, so let me just do a recap for you. This is nuts. <laughs> this is nuts. So we have easy Raven, which. I should, oh yeah, I just, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> uh, we have this Syngonium Pixie. 
cutie pie. Then we have Philodendron the Dream Mykins. I actually can't with this plant, it's so beautiful. The colour of the leaves is just spectacular. Let's get you all propped back up. Then we have Hoya Kamingii. This cute little leaves. Look, the sun just came out. I'm gonna warm my bones outside in a minute. Then um, Hoya David Kamingii. Then, oh man, Hoya Crinkle 8, shame. He needs a bit of a water, I think. I might transfer him. Maybe I'll do him to lacquer. I need to get some more lacquer pots. So Hoya Crinkle 8. Uh, who are you? You are a uh, Diversifolia. Yes. Hoya Diversifolia. Uh, Hoya Australis Lisa. I can see Misty, she's outside my door. So that's like our garden door is there. And um, she's shut outside <laughs> this gorgeous Hoya Memoria, which I'm just not showing you very well. <laughs> Oh, my hands are so shaky, sorry. And then this, which is not mine, but this absolutely gorgeous string of hearts. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, I'm gonna revel in this for a hot second and then um, go back to bed. <laughs> but, wow. Anyway, um, instead of me just waffling and this becoming really long and irrelevant, um, Thank you so much for watching this. Um, if any of you have any of these and have any tips on growing them, please let me know below. That would be fantastic. Um, particularly for getting this Raven's Easy to root successfully. I would appreciate any tips. Um, but yeah, uh, be kind to one another. Stay safe out there. Even if you think you're being safe, apparently you're not being safe enough. <laughs> um, and uh, I will see you guys next time for another planty video. Bye guys.